And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. There's a category of games that are often talked about. Uh, we we ca Gamers tend to categorize everything. And uh, one of the categories I often call games are filler games. Uh, but a lot of people call them beer and pretzel games because apparently they drink beer and and eat pretzels while playing these games. I'm a huge, huge fan of uh, pretzels, although I'm certainly a teetotaler, don't espouse the use of beer at all, but I don't have a problem with it in this game because in this game you're throwing it. So hey, get rid of that nasty stuff. Uh, beer and pretzels is the, uh, and I guess, uh, self-referential game uh, to some degree, but it's also a bit of a dexterity game. In beer and pretzels, you are taking large tokens, and let's take a look at some of these tokens. For example, you have this large pretzel here worth $4. You also have a delicious pretzel for $3. You have this one, which is two sets of pretzels for $2 each. And then you have these pretzels, which are best when filled with peanut butter, uh, that are $1 each. And then you have a beer mug, which you're throwing on the table for who knows what reason, which uh, multiplies everything times two. And then you have a napkin, which is seemingly hard for napkin purposes, but Again, I digress. What you're doing in this game is you're going to take this string and you're going to put it on the table to make an area uh, where you're going to be throwing these these pieces into. Then you just you pick some spot in the room. The rules seem kind of ambiguous. I guess you could pick a spot 25 feet away, but if you want to do good at all, do well. Sorry, English teachers. If you want to do well at all, you got to stand like two or three feet away, <laughs> and then you can throw them. I found that the best way to throw them is like a frisbee because if you flip it, if it lands on the wrong side, it's no good and it gets no points. But you're trying to flip it so that it lands in the circle or touching the circle or touching another one that's it, touching the circle. So, you know, if you they're all in a big line like this coming from the circle, then that counts. What's the reason for the napkin? Well, to cover up other people's. This is a solely uh, irritating, in-your-face thing. Now. There's one with four single pretzels on it. If two of those pretzels are covered up, for example, at the end of the round, I'm going to score $2. If all four are showing, I'll get $4. That's not, see, this big pretzel's not as good because if I'm covering up even a little part of it, I don't score anything at all. You want to make sure it's completely uncovered. Same thing with the beer mug. So the most points you can get are four for these, four for this, four for this, plus three for this. What is that? 15 times two. You can get 30. And you can keep score with the little tiddly winks that are included with the game. Uh, you have five tiddly winks and single tiddly winks, but I uh, I just write it down. I don't know why we have tiddly winks. It just seems kind of fiddly for a, a game of this magnitude. The game only goes to five players, but you can play with more players if uh, you buy it directly from Beezier Games. They will you can get the sixth player, which also is purple, and you know purple is a really cool color, but. Uh, I don't know. I have a big a blast of fun playing this. It's certainly not any kind of game they're going to put a lot of stock into. It's just fun. But I beat the pants off my family. I love it. Uh, take a look at playing the game. <laughs> Woohoo! Like I said, I go. Okay, I really need to stop covering up my own pretzels. So we see here that I covered up part of this pretzel and part of that pretzel, so this one's no good. But I get four, four, and three, 11. And we don't see any of reds. <laughs> get out of the way. We don't see any of reds in there. But you can you play several rounds. You can play as many rounds as there are players. Fun game. Like it a lot. Get it. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.